forged in the fire. The dictionary definition is to make or shape a metal object by heating it in the fire or furnace and hammering it. Ouch! Another definition to create something strong, enduring and successful. That is what the Lord is doing in your life, that you might know his good success, not as the world gives success, but his eternal success, success in all the purposes of God for your life, in fulfilling his plans, which are highest and best for you. Even when you can't see it, God is working in you. And sometimes that going through the fire, just like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, we read in the Bible that it, the furnace was turned up seven times hotter. Those three men would not bow to the temptation. They wouldn't bow to the world's way of thinking and doing things. How important that is for us right now. They wouldn't bow to any other expectation other than that of the word of God. And I believe the Lord is bringing his children into such days that are ahead of us that truly we may go through that fire. Our faith will be tested in the flames, but the Lord wants you to know, just like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, hey, there's another with you in the flame because the fire that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego experienced wasn't a fire of devastation and destruction. It was turned up seven times hotter that the very men who threw those three guys three God guys into the fire. They were destroyed immediately. But as the king Nebuchadnezzar looked on and just as the world looks on at our lives, we will be a sign and a wonder to the amazing fame and glory of our God. Because he looked and he said, oh, hang on, didn't we throw three men into the fire? But yet look, there's, a, there's another one walking with them and his appearance is as the son of God. You see, the fires that you go through in life when Jesus is with you are not fires of destruction and devastation, but they will be the making of you because there are three things that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego experienced in that fire and I want to share with you prophetically today they are the same three things they are the same cycle that you will experience through the fires of life they experienced one intimacy they experienced two the absolute liberty and three they experienced glory intimacy liberty and glory. That is what God has for you today. In those flames that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego went through, they were bound up, it says. The ropes were tied upon their wrists and their feet and they were cast in. But something happened in the flames when that king looked on and when people look on at you. This world may get more and more bound with worry and with fear. In the last days, we are told prophetically that men's hearts will fail them for fear. But for the children of God, we are going to be free because that fire that came to destroy Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, all it could destroy was the very ropes that had come to bind them. So those addictions, those things that you have been depending on other than God for your satisfaction and for your life, those sinful ropes, those chains of expectations, others' expectations of you that bind you up and hold you back, those ropes of worrying about what others may be thinking of you, that's what will be destroyed in the fire, but you will go free. So firstly, today the Lord wants you to know that he is with you in that flame intimacy just as the king looked on and could see and everyone else looking in they will see in your life as you go through those fires as you go through them with Jesus you know you're not alone you trust all you give your very life to him just like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego did they could say to the king before they were thrown in hey even if they wouldn't bow to anything else other than their God. 
even if the Lord does not save us, still we will not bow because they also declared that we know that our God, he is ultimately, they were willing to give their temporary life, all that was temporal for that which was eternal because that they knew that their God ultimately would be their deliverer. How the Lord in these days, this is a pretty strong word, but he wants us to surrender our temporal lives for his eternal purposes. This life is nothing compared to all that God has for us. No eye has seen. Let us be kingdom driven. Let us live for his kingdom purposes. Let's keep our eye on Jesus, the king and his kingdom because this world is failing and it is fading and it's going to get seven times hotter and it will get hotter for the children of God but there's going to be a distinction just as there was for Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego there'll be a distinction between how the people in the world will deal with the fire and the pressure to how the children of God those really set apart and surrendered to Jesus will deal with them you will come through that fire just as Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego did with greater intimacy. You will draw so close to Jesus that you won't even feel the heat. It will be nothing compared to who is with you, to Jesus. I've experienced that even through life-threatening times in my life. All that mattered was not what was going on around me, not why it was happening, not when it would end, but all that mattered was who was with me in the fire. And he brought me through every time in victory and he will do the same for you just as he did for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego intimacy with Jesus. Secondly that liberty just as I've already shared those ropes that bind you are the only things that will be destroyed and you will be delivered through the flames. Thirdly the glory of God. His the full backup of heaven. His full weight of his presence that is with you it will show up and show off in your life and in your situation you see the enemy that came to destroy you by throwing you into the fire what he didn't realize was that you are a child of God and you are made of gold you are indestructible. In Job 23, verse 10 to 11, we read, but he knows where I am going. And when he tests me, I will come out as pure as gold. For I have stayed on God's paths. I have followed his ways and not turned aside. I have not departed from his commands, but I have treasured his words more than daily food. You see what that enemy hasn't counted on the times he threw me into the fire is that God has made me as gold, indestructible, pure, set apart for his purposes. As we depend on his word, just as we read there more than our daily food and we don't depend on this world or anything, any of the expectations of others, anything that is fading and failing, but we de depend on that indestructible word of God. Jesus is the word himself who's with us. As we lean into his word, we're going to receive such power for kingdom living in Jesus' mighty name. Will you trust him in the fire and in the flames today? And although, and I can say this prophetically, we're going to see the temperature turn up seven times hotter around us, but we will not be consumed in the flames because we are gold instead we are going to shine even brighter for the glory of god come on children of god this is our time to rise and shine for our light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you and me in jesus name Father, we receive your word today, Lord. I thank you there's another with us in the fire. His name is Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that we will represent you well. That, Lord, we will display your wonder and your glory, Lord, your presence, your miracles with us as we surrender, Jesus. Not to the flames around us and to the fire, but we surrender to you. Because, Lord, then the fire and the flames are the ones that are under your command. 
in Jesus' name and you will protect us, you will empower us and you will keep us in Jesus' name. Amen.